Hey boys and girls, today we're looking at a Honda GX160 engine that's gotten a little dirty over the years and uh, I repurposed it from a inch and a quarter roper pump to a three inch roper pump to uh, move grease around, oil and shit. Uh, it's pretty nasty, definitely a dirty job, but uh, the concept was, you know, the pump calls for 20 horsepower, and uh, I didn't have a 20 horse, I got a 5 horse. So, I had a 5 horse sitting here that I was using for something else, and I knew it was a runner, even though this thing looks like a crime scene. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good running engine, and it's got this here uh, gearbox on it. It's a gear reduction, slows down the speed, and this pump here needs to turn about, I don't know, 500, 600 RPM, something like that. I got the specs somewhere, not too interested uh, in whether or not it was, uh, was going to turn at the proper speed or not. I just wanted to see if it was going to work. So the first thing I did was put it on a piece of plywood, basically, belt it up, and... Uh, I had the ratio set at uh, well two five inch pulleys so I thought that gearbox was four to one I don't know why I thought it was four to one I never looked just in my brain I knew it was a four to one gearbox and uh, lo and behold it wasn't it's two to one so engine RPMs you know uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be but I was gonna dial it down maybe around a thousand 1200 1400 I don't have one of those meters the little uh, you know pointy thingies you put a little piece of chalk on the rpm gauge to tell you how fast shit's turning but I know when I'm moving stuff if it's going good or if it's not going good and so you know I needed this thing to uh, deliver product deliver liquid and uh, lo and behold it did but my first attempt I had here a five inch pulley on the engine same as this one and then the uh, thing was really laboring uh, there's a friction clutch inside that gearbox and right about here it was getting hot as fuck 350 degrees before I shut it off I did that a couple times, trying to troubleshoot it, see what I could do to make that cooler, put a fan on it and such. My first thought was, all right, this little guy just doesn't have the balls, can't do it, need a 20 horse or a 15 horse or something like that, because that's what this pump calls for. But then I got to thinking over a day or two and a couple silver bullets, and I thought, you know what? This is like a fucking 10-speed in 10th gear, and I'm trying to climb a big hill, right? So I went to Granger again, uh, ordered this here pulley. They didn't have exactly what I needed, but I got the smallest one with a 7 8 shaft size, and the keyway was wrong. I don't know what they put in this thing, but I measured it out at 7 millimeters. I don't know what that is, but uh, I had to broach by hand the keyway in that pulley, just like I did on the 5 horse or the 5 inch one. And uh, that sucked, but, <clears throat> you know, I did it anyway, he put it on there, so we key it up, and uh, fire this thing up, and sure enough, the RPMs are perfect, the pump works great, and uh, it delivers better than basically anything I've ever pumped with for this particular application, which is uh, grease, and it's, you know, it's cold outside here, so it's like trying to pump liquid asphalt. Now, this is not an ideal setup. Um, I put it up this high, you know, waist high, instead of putting it on a, a roller cart because I'm fat and lazy and I just want to be able to walk up to the thing and work on it, change the oil, put a new belt on, uh, turn this thing, this here pulley, when the thing gets stuck in the reverse operation uh, direction, you know, spin it backwards. If you pick up a rat or a rubber glove, or man, these guys put all kinds of shit in those bins that we pump. So, we got a lot of food particles, we get beer cans, we get all kinds of shit. 
So I uh, wanted to keep this thing exposed, you know, to make it a little less OSHA. That way it, uh, you know, it meets the specifications of my shop where if it ain't dangerous, we probably ain't going to do it. Um, not promoting working on safe, but, uh, you know, that's kind of grow up. So anyway, that's it. This is a Roper gear pump. They put these on semi trucks for uh, hauling, you know, for moving liquid, uh, basically anything. But once something big enough gets in between those gears, it won't move. So you got to kind of filter it. You got to get it kind of clean. But the question was, will a five horse or now they've derated this thing to about a four and a half horse uh, gasoline powered engine? run this pump that requires 20 horsepower fucking a you get it geared right and you can do whatever you want so i uh i made this stand um because i had it i had these steel i-beams that i garbage picked from one of my neighbors i don't know what the fuck he was doing with these because they weigh a metric ton but uh, i put the board the test board on there and just mocked it up to see if uh the the pump even worked because i got it from a guy who gave it to me um uh, this thing was on some kind of a oil sucker truck that caught fire and so he had twin pumps that he replaced and he said if you want them you could have them i sold one of them off the one that spun and this was the one that didn't spin so i took it apart and i you know cleaned it up and did my uh did my best at, at at trying to polish things up and make things a little smoother but uh, my spidey senses told me that it was going to be fine and they were right because it pumps pumps kick ass i mean it ain't vacuum but this thing will suck a golf ball through a garden hose for sure these things are designed to make you know they pump liquid asphalt from a football field away and uh, I was just on the cusp of having this thing complete when I ran into this motherfucker on eBay and I bought it. I shouldn't have. Now I got now I got buyer's remorse. This is a four inch roper. Same as that thing. That's a roper pump. But this one's four inch. And uh, it was pumping molasses out of train cars. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the good land. It's got a big old motor and a gear, gearbox there, and there's a coupler underneath there. But this thing is just, this thing's just fucking massive. I don't, I, I don't even think I'm gonna use it. Now that I got this other guy going, um, probably gonna put this one up for sale. Uh, maybe save it for the next venture. Not really sure, but I don't have the wattage in the cottage, if you know what I'm saying. It's here, but I gotta run it, and it's gonna cost me about five grand to power up this electric motor. And you know, I'm kind of cheap, so I make everything you know that I can myself. I'm thinking if I took these here bolts off, took this engine or motor, there's a big difference, don't get me started. <clears throat> Take this electric motor make it get the fuck out of here and throw a uh, Kohler or a Honda best case scenario in there I don't know what that shaft size is I won't know until I take it apart but if I put a Honda engine on there and run it on Propagna the uh, the champagne of fuels we can run it inside and I probably do that for way under five grand and most importantly I'm trying to avoid spending five grand uh, on electrical upgrades for somebody else's building because I rent here so that's an option but uh, yeah this thing is this thing is definitely even cooler than this thing over here but I'm probably going to sell it so anyway uh, any questions leave them in the comments uh, you can belt up a roper you can get these things on eBay for about 150 bucks. The engine you can get for, you know, secondhand, a couple hundred bucks, something like that. But if you need to uh, 
deliver liquid, you need to pump some fuel, you need to pump oil, you need to pump asphalt, you need to just thing will probably pump anything. I mean, if it'll go through there, you can pump it. And it's positive displacement. Every cycle of this pulley, forward or backward of the pump, moves fluid in both directions. Or, you know, we're, we're dealing with high viscosity fluids. And uh, come winter time, it's even worse. So it's almost a solid. So we'll see how it works with that stuff once uh, once I get to it. But yeah, just thought it was a cool little project and uh, wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, remember, grass is for cutting, not for smoking. <laughs>